there is an innovative way of transforming fresh produce into safe, nutritious and inexpensive food while benefiting the local economy by using locally produced agricultural products. CFAM was established in 2007 to commercialize and further develop the technology. Extrusion is a continuous cooking process that is ideal for producing large amounts of food. The high cooking temperatures and pressures ensure that the food produced is sterile and thus safe. We started off developing our first twin screw extruder in 1998 and the idea with that was to localize twin screw extrusion for South Africa but also Africa and the developing world. And then in 2007-8 we realized that selling only extruders that's not really uh, meeting the needs of industry. So we then started to develop our own complete extrusion plant to be able to give a turnkey solution in terms of the extrusion plant. And our first turnkey extrusion plant was built around the 2015 where we built everything in our first extruders. Parallel to that we also realized that the market in Africa and the developing world is not that sophisticated and people have a need for research and development on the applications of extrusion side. And that was gave why we started also the Extrusion Research and Development Center where we focus mainly on the applications of extruders, applications of utilizing the resources, natural resources uh, and that is where that development started. And where we're sitting today, we give a complete one-stop solution from product development on applications, recipe formulation, testing of the consumer, testing for of the products, all the way through to the design, implementation, installation, commissioning, training and operation of extruder plants. We are always trying to make the system not only reliable, because that, that must be a given, but also simple and intuitive and, and easy to maintain, simple to understand, simple to operate, to make it really machines built in Africa for Africa. So we rather invest in technology and, and smart machines to, to make the operation of the machine as simple as possible. Quality for us is non-negotiable. We're competing with the best of the best in the world, so we cannot come up with an inferior product. So quality is therefore of the utmost importance. Secondly, also important for us is to have a system, a machine, a plant that give you a consistent quality product in a reliable fashion. At CFM we've got a good experience in the use of our equipment by our customers and what the conditions are that you typically find in, in industry uh, in Africa where our equipment is used. So we have the capability to design um, according to what, what the conditions will be that our equipment will meet. You have to be involved with the fourth industrial revolution but, but no one is really 100% sure what it is and you can probably funnel beat most things into the fourth industrial revolution. But I believe what it is, it's actually a different way of thinking where you're actually using technology and connecting systems together so that, that uh, you've actually got the, the uh, management information continuously that you can actually on the fly access equipment, change parameters, change direction. You should be able to to make use of the newest technology, make use of accessibility, of Internet of Things, uh, of cloud-based databases, etc. Having all that information at your fingertips wherever you are, because it's not necessary anymore to have an operator with a thick black book sitting there, logging parameters, etc. etc. You can be on holiday, you can sit at the coast or wherever, and you can actually see what exactly is going on with the equipment. What are the efficiencies? What are the production rate? What does the last shift produce? Has there been any issues? Has there been any errors? Are you producing at the correct parameters to make sure that your product are within spec? And that's all at your fingertips. We've built the whole factory and the systems in the factory around ensuring quality and ensuring reliability and uh, making sure that our customer gets the best, uh, the best there is. In the end, 
When you make a decision on setting up an extrusion plant, it's all about the financials. You're sitting with a plant that you need to have a market for, price that the market is prepared to pay, cost of the plant that it will cost you, operating cost, labor cost, all of that. So over these years, we've developed financial forecasting models and financial models where we literally to look at all the aspects of that planting operation, from the initial cost to the operating cost to the recipes, all of that information is fed into our financial models and therefore we can assist our clients in doing financial forecasting up to 10 years. And all of that is pulled through into income statements as well as the balance sheets of the company. CFAM extruders are being used to produce pet foods, instant porridges, aqua feeds, snacks and breakfast cereals. Wherever we've come up with a problem in our manufacturing process, CFAM has been able to present a solution to that problem. I heard about CFAM building twin screw extruders here in Poch, specializing in twin screw extrusion technology, which gives us the ability to extrude whole grains. And that's the part of our philosophy, as we need to give the full benefit of a grain to the child. They are there to provide service when we need them. And in terms of the equipment that we have purchased from them so far, we're very happy with the reliability of that machinery and certainly we've seen no problems. Well, the philosophy is that our machines are designed in Africa to be used in Africa. And that can mean various things to various people. You do get one school of thought that says the solution that you need for Africa is a sort of a Heath Robinson solution. Very primitive, very simple. With the main idea of that the equipment needs to be robust. I believe that's the last thing that you want. So our philosophy is we build some of the most advanced equipment in the world, but we build it in Africa for Africa. And that means that we build advanced equipment that is robust, that can handle whatever African operating conditions throws at it. Conditions like bad power quality, conditions like high heat, high humidity, etc. etc. So I think the philosophy to, to recap or to, to put it all together, designed in Africa for Africa to be some of the best best quality equipment and most advanced equipment in the world.